Google Assistant Accessibility Videos Google Home Audio Accessibility Features I am Kiran Kaja and I am the Accessibility Lead for Search and Assistant. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a few of the audio features in Google Home that might be of interest to users with disabilities. These features might also be helpful for everyone. Start and End Sounds Let's turn on Start and End Sounds. The Google Home lights up when you say OK Google or Hey Google to indicate that the Google Home has recognized your voice and is listening to you. If you're blind or visually impaired, you may not be able to see the lights. Even if you're not visually impaired, you might be busy doing something else and unable to look at the Google Home. You can make Google Home play a sound as soon as it detects OK Google or Hey Google. You can also make it play a sound when it stops listening to you. You can turn on these options under the accessibility settings in the Google Home app. I'm using an Android phone, the Google Pixel, running TalkBack screen reader for this demo. But you can also do this on an iOS device. There are a number of ways to open up settings for your Google Home device. The best way with a screen reader is to find the account tab at the bottom right corner and activate it. Then navigate to local devices and open it. Find your device here and activate it. Navigate to Open Device Settings and activate it. Now let's find accessibility in this list of settings. Let's go ahead and turn on these sounds. Play Start Sound Off Switch. On. Play End Sound Off Switch. On. Now I'll show you how the sounds work. Hey Google, what's the population of United States? The population of United States was 327.2 million in 2018. As you notice, the Google Home played a sound when I said, hey Google. It also played a sound when I finished talking to it. This is helpful to confirm that Google Home has indeed recognized your voice and is listening to you. Adjusting equalizer settings. You can adjust equalizer settings on your Google Home device, such as bass and trouble. If you have mild hearing loss, tweaking these settings can be helpful. You can try these settings from the equalizer settings section in the Google Home app. Let's go back to the account tab and I'll find Google Home under local devices. Now I'll look for the equalizer settings. You can find a level that works best for you from the bass and treble settings here. 50% zero decibels seat control. Treble, 50% zero decibels seat control. Continued conversation. Continued conversation is a feature that lets you have a follow-up conversation with Google Home without having to say, hey Google, each and every time. You say, hey Google, once, and for any follow-up questions within a short period of time, you just ask the question without having to say, hey Google. Google Home keeps the mic open automatically for a short period after each response. You need to turn this feature on in your assistant settings. Once you turn it on, it will be available across all your devices running your assistant. You can open your assistant settings from the account tab in the Google Home app. Continued conversation is under the assistant tab. I will navigate to it and turn it on. Let's see how this works. Hey Google, what is the population of California? The population of California was 39.56 million in 2018. How about Texas? The population of Texas was 28.7 million in 2018. As you noticed, I didn't have to say OK Google or Hey Google for the follow-up question. You may have also noticed that the start sound has played at the end of each response to indicate that the Google Home is still listening to you. Those are only a few of the many features that the Google Assistant supports. You can always ask your Google Assistant, what can you do to learn about over 1 million actions that your Google Assistant now supports. For more ways your assistant can help you in your daily life, please watch the rest of the videos in this series linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and I do hope you find these videos useful. If you have questions, comments or feedback on accessibility of Assistant, Google Home or any other Google product, please contact us by sending an email to disability-support at google.com. You can also tweet us at Google Access. For a complete list of accessibility support options, please visit support.google.com slash accessibility.